side. Greetings, people of YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how to make your extremely boring house into something that looks pretty awesome. And as you can see, I just have a boring house that is a little bit of boring. So I'm just going to show you a few steps on how to make this house look pretty cool. So to start off, I'm just going to place this chest and break it for no apparent reason. So now let's actually start. So you have your house. And one thing that would make it look nice is adding some windows. I made this house so the windows would be perfectly spaced because I get OCD in Minecraft when things aren't perfect. And it bothers me like crazy. So my windows are going to be all evenly spaced. But yours don't have to unless you, unless you get OCD like me. Which is cool because that makes... That just makes it look better anyways. So I'm just putting glass panes. You can put glass blocks or whatever material you want. Except for like... Unless you don't want to make windows. Do that way. It's just they make it look better. And so that's the first step. The second step is to get some fence. Just because I have a lighter wood for my house. I'm going to use a darker fence to mix the different tones. So you're going to go ahead and break the corners of your house and put some fence in there. And you'll see this will, and it might look weird to start with, but you'll see that once we add the roof, it will actually make it look pretty sweet. So we've added windows and fences in the corner. So you have this boring ceiling, so. Just get rid of that. Just get rid of it. Say bye bye. You can um, break the edges or like two layers and just set it on fire, but nobody got time for that. So, once you've done this, I'm just going to take nether brick slabs just to go with the nether brick stairs. You well, if you don't really like the look at that, I would recommend using spruce slabs or really any wood that happen or any slab. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start off placing blocks along the top, so it goes along the fence like that. But you don't fill in the corner like that. So you just go around, oops, and make a little border for your roof that we will continue building right now. Okay, so once you've ah uh, once you've gone all the way around, you're just gonna make another layer like this and just go around and cover up the fence and just set the time to zero. One thing I really hate is when it's night time. And that's it. I just don't like night time in Minecraft. It's not fun. It's dark and the scary creature is fun. So, I like j just to leave it like that. You can add more layers and make it all pointy and stuff. But I'm not going to do that right now. Like, you can just keep going up one block and keep filling it in and so on and so on. Right now, I'm just going to do this. Wait, no, I'm just going to film the ceiling. You know what? Yeah, I think we're going to make another layer because I think that would look a little better. Ugh. Okay. And so you're just going to basically fill that in as if you were just filling in a ceiling. Like this. And connect it. And then just make your ceiling. I just do this because it's, I find it to be the fastest way to make floors and ceilings and related content. So, now we have that, and you can see that roof looks pretty nice. So now your house has gone from boring to somewhat cool. Now, let's do some more. So you're going to go in your inventory and grab some stone bricks. 
is going to outline the whole entire house. And yes, even break under the fence and then go like that. So just basically like a border around the house. And it makes it, it, it wouldn't seem like it would make a big difference in the way it looks, but it actually does make quite a big difference. So you're just going to fill this in with, you can build, use any block. I'm a big fan of stone brick, it looks really professional and nice, and you won't be a noob if you use stone brick because stone brick is just that awesome. So you just basically fill in the border, and you can see it makes it look really cool. So, now it looks pretty nice, but we see that we have the inside yet to work on. So, I'm just going to use stone brick again, except for there's a catch. I'm not going to go all the way around. I'm just going to do the inside and leave a border, strictly for the reason that I don't like having a floor that is just all one thing. I like to have a border from the walls to the floor. So you could put redstone lamps, but that just looks kind of cheesy. So I'm going to put spruce wood and move it log side up. Not like that, just so you can see the top. Because it adds a nice border around the house and it makes the stone brick look nice. So, once you've done that, we are going to go outside and we're going to grab some leaves. I'm a fan of birch leaves, so I'm just going to use that. I'm going to evenly space it, so one, two, three, three. Put some leaves make a border around the house. So one, two, three. So this makes it look instead of putting fence around it, which looks kind of tacky in my opinion. This gives just a border around your house. So it's kind of like Putting a hedge around your house, etc. It's not humongous and annoying. Okay, so now you have a nice looking house. You can add fountains here, whatever you want. So this just this video just taught you how to turn your boring house into something pretty cool. So make sure to hit that subscribe button, guys. Thanks for watching, and now you have a nice.